The first thing you want to do when checking for oil is to find the oil cap. The oil cap is yellow and generally has a tin can icon on it. After finding the oil cap, you will then unscrew the cap, pull it out, and the dipstick is right attached to it. The first time you pull it out, you will wipe it with a cloth, put it back in for a second or two, pull it back out again, and then this time you will actually take a reading and see if the oil is covering the markings which has full, and if it's covering the markings reading full, you will then wipe it off again with a cloth, and you will put it back into the mower. When checking for gasoline, the first thing you want to do is find the gas cap, which has a gas tank on it, and then unscrew the gas tank and just eye the level of gasoline to see if you need to fill it up or not. It is important to check the gas line before you start the mower. In the first picture, you'll see that it is turned off. The knob is pointing towards the gasoline icon with the cross through it. And then in the second picture, it is turned on where it is pointed at the gasoline icon that has no cross in it. To engage the choke mechanism, on the throttle control, place the lever all the way down to the choke icon, and this will allow more fuel to be brought into the engine to help start. The ignition starter is located in the middle of the engine. While holding the ignition starter handle, place your foot on the please step sign on the side of the mower, then use a swift pullback motion to start. If it does not work the first time, it might require two or three pullback motions. When the engine starts, let it run for five to 10 seconds before switching the choke mechanism to the bunny icon on the throttle lever. The following video will demonstrate this. The mower has a safety mechanism. The mower blade safety bar, located on top of the operator handlebar, needs to be pressed down and then the lever for the blade and gauge can be moved. If the mower blade safety bar is ever released, the blade will turn off. The lawn mower has a self-propel mechanism. To engage the self-propel mechanism, the propel bar is located underneath the operator handlebar. Holding this will move the mower based on the speed selected on the speed control, one being the slowest and five being the fastest. To turn the mower off, release the mower blade safety bar which will turn the blade off. Then on the throttle control, move the bunny icon to the icon with the thermometer with an X through it. This will turn the engine off. Finally, disconnect the gas line by moving the knob to point at the gas tank with an X through it. <laughs> 